Oh, you guys want to see this? All right, guys. So, as you guys can see, this little piece on my head, we are getting ready to represent Team USA at the freaking World Championships. Um, so, PA Nats passed this past Sunday. Uh, me, Pobs, Lugo, and Mikey, and a bunch of our other colleagues and friends competed at the same meet. But I'm headed to the gym right now. I'm running a little late. Shocker, Pobs, everybody, please forgive me. You guys got to forgive me now since I just apologized on the video. But just packed my bags. Haven't touched anything, anything since Sunday. So I'm feeling pretty good. Um, just going to probably do like a light SBD, get some some rust off these these joints and muscles. But uh, we should have a pretty interesting video in tune for you guys today. So y'all stay tuned and we'll see you guys at the gym. Yeah, you told me the whole story how I was buying his bell. And I was like, yeah. This man just earned an SBD belt the right way. <laughs> he earned that shit. He earned it. Oh. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. You gotta leave it now, bro. <laughs> Thursday uh, afternoon. First day, a first day official back to training for all of us. A lot of things can be said about PA Nationals. A lot. A lot of things. I, I think there was performances across the spectrum. There was great and mediocre. But we don't allow anything. <laughs> <laughs> But I, I want to ask them something about that, and it's like, I, I don't, I, I think me saying that is like Mikey would not disagree, because that's just the standard we we set for ourselves. It's that's that's it. Like we don't do anything less than mediocre. Like mediocre is the worst we allow to happen around these parts, and that's for a breath before somebody gets on our cheeks. But uh, all right, enough about me. Let's get some of these guys. So. Lugo, give us a quick 60 second recap of your PA Nationals performance. Squats. Honestly, I cut and the cut, like a lot of people say like five keys ain't gonna like affect you that much. It does. Um, I did everything I could to like be good, good to go. And like mentally I was like, fuck, like where to go my squat. Um, went two for two. PR's performance was like, oh, he missed a squat. Nah, bro, I didn't miss no squat. I actively didn't take it. Like, uh, eight for eight. Eight for eight. 100% completion. Um, I definitely had more than the tank on squat, but my second attempt, I threw my chest into it instead of driving my hips. Sorry, Coach Barry. Uh, <laughs> um, bench was good to go. Opened up a little too heavy. Some weird stuff happened with, you know, the flex guys were kind of watching over me, but then um, somebody offered for Matt Gary to come and like handle me specifically, and I said no like two or three times, but he was like, no. I'm, like, he basically was just like, I'm going in here respectfully. And there was like some weird energy shit. And I was like, you know what? I don't care, I'm just here to lift. And that's what I told him. I was like, look, if you want to handle that stuff, you handle that. I'm going to sit down. I'm not going to think I haven't done anything else. I'm just going to go on the platform and lift and that's it. And we secured the dub. That's it. It was a beautiful moment, bro. Beautiful moment to All right, so you guys might not recognize this man because this isn't Mikey anymore. This is Michael. Michael has entered the chat. All right, bro. 60 seconds on your PA performance, bro. 60 seconds? Yeah. All right. First of all, got the job done. Came in. We won the meet. That was the plan. We stayed healthy. So, in that sense, it's a W. But um, I was seven, seven, 7 for 7 going into my second deadlift. And then I locked it out. Missed on grip. We went up and wait because I thought I could fix it. And then I missed on grip again. So obviously disappointing, but um, I know what I got to do. I know how to get it right. So eight weeks, I will right my wrongs in South Africa. Yeah. And if I could inter interlude anything, I would say that I think this performance was much needed because it's going to put a fire under your cheeks. Oh, yeah. Because oh, yeah. it's like now, I'm hyped, bro. you're not going to leave any I'm stone unturned. Train, bro. Like, I'm ready to go. Everything is just going to be on all cylinders. Like, no. I already, I already, I'm going to make a whole video on this, so I don't want to put it in here. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like I already know everything I got to fix for the grip. We know. We all know. We don't got to talk about it. We know. All right, guys. So, it's just, it's just so, 
Like, I'm still wrapping my head around it just to go 2447, but let's not even talk about the numbers. Let's just talk about the execution by itself because that was like, that was just where my mind was at. You know, a lot of people were asking me, like, why didn't you go for 1113? Why didn't you chip race record? And the God, the truth, honest to God, truth is, we weren't even thinking about 1113. We were literally just thinking about PR and squads, PR and banks, PR and deadlifts, and just putting forward a performance that we all knew I was capable of because this is the caliber of lifter that I've envisioned myself to be. It is the standard that we all breathe, live, preach, shit, like <laughs> eat, whatever you want to call it. Like, this is literally what we do. Um, so for me, the, take, the biggest takeaway is just to be able to say, I executed, I went nine for nine, and I went 27 of 27 with some of the strictest judges in the nation. Like that is just what I'm proud of. Because my last previous bet to me, when I went 23, 27, I went nine for nine, but I got two red lights, Caleb. I don't know if you'll be able to hear this, <laughs> video, but Anyways, uh, no pun intended. <laughs> but uh, either way, just to go like 27 to 27, not a single red light, no miss, no dispute, no question. That is what I'm proud of. The fact that it was undisputable, it was undeniable, and it is what it is. You know, and if you guys slow down, like on my squat video, and I was beating my chest like, like a gorilla, uh, I said it was my time, you know. I won't get into who was in my vision at the time that made me just kind of go bananas, but uh, you know, got worlds in nine weeks, and then after that, we have nine months to go, just to go even further. And I just think like this group of guys that we have, it says we all, we're all about it. We're all about it. So we're just gonna, we're gonna take this thing to levels never before seen. And I promise you, kids, 50 years from now, we'll be talking about these training sessions at Texas Training Center with Michael Davis, Clayton Tautry, Pablo Olivares, Enrique Lugo, and myself. Um, and Ashton, because I know they got like one <laughs> month. But uh, all right, guys, uh, Pablo's the last one to do this recap video, but we're back in the business, bro. Back in the business. It's the first national meet in the books for me. I can write literally a whole essay about this meet. Um, <laughs> so many pros and cons that I just mentally noted. Uh, first one off the bat was just the pace. It's a little mini faster, but I think it was good. I think it's a good opportunity to show if you're really a gamer or not a gamer. Because in moments like that, I mean, you're about to weed out the people who ain't really got it. So you know you got it when you handle just the meat under pressure. So I missed my first attempt on squat. I've never missed an attempt. I mean, I have, but not a first attempt uh, due to any technicality. So I retook it. It caused me to just threw me off the game plan. If I would have been that same predict uh, predicament before, I would have just gone straight from 7.33 seconds straight to 8.04 or whatever I needed. Obviously that wasn't the case. I ended with 7.88, which is not my best. I mean, I've done 8.04 in a meet. So that's it, that's, that is what it is. You know, I gotta be better on my part as far as like for each attempt, making sure I take it more serious and just be more focused. Uh, for bench and deadlift though, I did miss both of those ten second attempts. And I'll just say that I had that dog in me because that's honestly what it is. That's what it takes. Um, it takes not accepting defeat in order to perform in the literally the moments where it counts. So if I didn't get those third attempts for each lift, I would have ended the meet with like a 850 eight eight kg. Less almost than the Carpino. Huh? Less than the Carpino. Less, way less. So I was able to end the meet with a 900 kg meat total PR. Which is a, uh, previous was 890, so a 10 kg meat PR. Went six for nine, not my best meat. And so I got my next meet in Orlando. 10 weeks out, uh, and I will be performing my best that I've ever been. So, yes, sir. That's what it is. First day back in training. I missed this, man. It's only been a couple days, but I, know, I missed bro. it. It's just like, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, but, all right, so I guess, like, from Pablo's coach, 
It's like, I personally feel like Pablo Rush and Honest, 40 kilos on the platform. Yeah. Um, you know, I think this experience, we're gonna definitely use it to continue building the foundation because a lot of people don't understand how truly valuable experiences, right? When you're in these high level meets, when you're surrounded by the best in the world and it's like the expectation is there, if you've never been in that experience before, you can very easily become overwhelmed. Right, not to say Pablo became overwhelmed because there was instances where his medal was tested and he overcame his obstacles, right? Because he literally had the best meal of his life, six for nine, right? So, we're definitely six for gonna, nine. We're gonna take these experiences, um, we're gonna get a little bit stricter with training, and I just think this next season for Pablo is just gonna be a really incredible one, you know, and I think you guys should be tuning in. You guys should definitely be following him and be a part of the journey because I'm telling you guys, like, I've seen this guy go from 495 to 810 to loading 848 in the back. And it's, no one knows uh, about that, bro. Mm. Be, 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 hey, hey, hey. Uh, either way, <laughs> either way uh, I think that pretty much wraps up this little video. I just wanted to come in. Well, we wanted to come in do, like, a little... 60 minute recap for everybody. Uh, unfortunately, Clay didn't compete, so he didn't get one today. But next time he competes, we'll get him. I'm sorry. That's Shout good. out to Clay. Uh, that man came in clutch, helped out a lot. I'm gonna just say he didn't get tagged in any of the appreciation posts, but, hey. but we know. Hey, we know, I know, we know. But we know how. I thought Nina tagged you once. Nah, bro. Oh, the second one. The second that's okay. That's not, right? it's, it's not a big deal, oh, yeah. but it's just we know. I know. Um, we appreciate his help. It came in clutch. It was good vibes. Yes, it was good, good vibes. It almost literally felt just like how it is today with all of us, except turned up to a million. Yes. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. It was just more serious. Well, it's not like we're not serious, but. It was do or die. You only had nine attempts. Yes. You couldn't retry and then not post it. Anymore. So other than that, guys, thank you for watching. If you made it this far, please subscribe, share, like, comment. Uh, you guys need to keep it. SBD. They literally have the best belt in the freaking game. Their sleeves are like top notch. Uh, whatever you guys need, elbow, wrist wrap, uh, knee, or if you guys are into lifting with wraps. They have it all. We're gonna have uh, the support link in the description box. If you guys need supplements, you guys know where to go. Jack Factory. They have, literally have the best pre in the game. Best protein. Everything is. I would recommend pretty much. I recommend pretty much everything that Jack Factory has. Uh, one hun. If you guys need mouth guards, pretty much like half of us use one. We swear by it. Yep. Uh, you know they also got straps, but I mean that's for another conversation. <laughs> uh, we're only one of us use straps here. <laughs> Alright guys, we are, okay, final thing is, we are going to do a round table Q&A, uh, the five of us, so if you guys have any single questions, put them in the comment box below, and then I think leading up into that video that we're going to record, we're going to all tag each other and we're going to have a Q&A, so guys, if you want any in-depth analysis, questions about our training, about our personal life, whatever, Obviously, if you guys ask about the pocket stuff, we're not gonna, we're yeah, gonna like, ignore it. How does Mikey D smell like? Yeah. <laughs> but if it's, interesting, if it's interesting and we need some benefit to sharing the keys, then we will. Hey, what but is this? Friction Labs, you guys need to hit me up, bro. I literally use this chalk to pull 402, so hit me up. KG. <laughs> KG. Right. Anyways, this concludes the video. We're gonna go ahead and train, kind of have some fun. Ooh, actually, Kabuki Bar. Hey, Kabuki Bar. Shout out to Kabuki for sending me the box. Kabuki. I wish the IPF was smart. Mmm. Alright. <laughs> but anyways guys, we're about to get this training session started. Uh, gonna be a fast one today. My, Mikey's telling us to hurry up. Yeah. So alright guys, I'm just getting tired, bro. I've been I'm uh, proud of everyone. And guys, we're just getting started. So you guys better tune in, you guys better subscribe to all of our channels, all of our Instagram, our TikToks. Because this this stuff is gonna turn up to a level. We ain't done. Job ain't done.